In this video, we'll share our visit to the Utah State Capitol Building located in Salt Lake City, Utah. Did you know that the state of Utah became the 45th U.S. state on January 4, 1896? Well, the Utah State Capitol Building was completed in 1916, many years later, on an old munition storage area called Arsenal Hill, which was donated to build the Capitol Building. Since then, a multi-million dollar renovation project was completed in 2008, restoring the Capitol's original beauty, artifacts, and history. Want more? Keep watching this video! Welcome to HipVig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is the Salt Lake City, Utah series for visitors. This episode is the Utah State Capitol Building Helpful Travel Guide for new visitors to this historical setting in Salt Lake City, Utah. The Utah State Capitol Building is located at 350 North State Street, 120 State Capitol, Salt Lake City, Utah. If you don't have a car, then you can take the UTA Route Bus 200, which runs between the U.S. State Capitol Building and downtown Utah. Please be aware that Bus 200 only goes to the Capitol Building on weekdays. The fare is $2.50 one way. Please check on the Utah Transit Authority website for more details. We had a car and drove from downtown Salt Lake City on a beautiful, warm, sunny day. There is free parking available in the public lots located on the east side near the Senate Building. This building is on the right side of the Capitol Building if you're facing the front of the Capitol Building. Parking is also allowed along the streets unless otherwise stated by signs. Please enter by the east doors near the parking lot for the visitor center entrance. We arrived at the Utah State Capitol Building late in the afternoon. The Capitol Building is open from Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and holidays, they're open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Visitor Center office is located on the first floor and is open Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. and is closed on state holidays. We parked our car in the parking lot and then walked to the front of the Capitol building. The first thing we were struck by was the architecture of this great building. The Capitol building was designed by Utah architect Richard Cletting and has since then been renovated so perfectly. The grounds include six buildings, well-maintained lawns, a central plaza with a reflecting pool, a 0.7 mile circular walkway with 433 Yoshino cherry trees, which happily bloom in spring, but we missed it since we came here in summer, and a collection of monuments, plaques, and statues located all around its grounds inside and out. Its symmetrical grandeur and elegance is just a taste of what you will see until you enter. We walked up the many, many steps up to the front doors of the building. And when we turned around, we were treated to spectacular views of downtown Salt Lake City and the surrounding mountains. It is absolutely wonderful. This is a really good place to take pictures. After taking many, many pictures, we entered the front doors on the second floor, also referred to as the main floor, to the Rotenda area. Guided tours of the Capitol Building are available Monday through Friday, but I'll talk more about that later. Once we got in the building, all I can say is wow and more wow. The floors and the matching grand staircases on each side are made from Italian marble and painted on the rotunda ceiling are giant colorful murals on the ceiling depicting Utah's history and heritage. No wonder this building is registered on the National Register of Historic Places. The Capitol Building has five floors. Floor one is where you'll find the visitor center. If you enter from the east parking lot, you'll enter near the visitor center. Here you'll see lots of historical artifacts and a model of the Capitol Building. More about that later. Floor two, where we're currently at, is the main floor and is the grand entry of the building and is where the office of the governor of Utah is located. The third floor are the entrance doors to the Senate and the House of Representatives. On the third floor, we found this antique looking elevator, which was beautifully restored and piqued our curiosity. So we got on it to go down. 
We took the elevator down to the second floor, and when we reached the second floor, we got out and walked down to the first floor to the visitor center for a tour. Guided tours are available on the hour from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday and from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Fridays. Groups of under 10 people are welcome to drop in without a reservation. Tours meet at the desk just inside the east doors of the Capitol on the first floor. Tours run about an hour and are free. Please do not try to tip the docents. Guided tours are also available on Wednesday evenings at 6 p.m. and 7 p.m., but only by reservation. Unfortunately for us, we arrived too late for the last guided tour, so we took the self-guided tour. There is a self-guided tour brochure which are located at the desk just inside the east doors of the Capitol building on the first floor. Once we finished our self-guided tour through the mini displays on the first floor, we took the antiquated yet modern elevator to floor four. Why? Just because we wanted to take the elevator again. The fourth floor is where the office for Utah Senators and Congressmen are located as well as the art gallery which overlooks the rotunda. The gallery features rotating exhibits related to Utah's history and heritage. There are paintings and artifacts displayed and encased in glass and if you come up here you'll get a closer look at the rotunda murals which are just absolutely beautiful. It is a truly wonderful building and a very popular spot among the locals for photo shoots. We saw several wedding photo sessions while we were here. Displayed throughout the Capitol grounds are many monuments and sculptures of Utah's history and heritage, like the statues of Brigham Young, the first territorial governor, and Philo T. Farnsworth, a Utah native and a developer of television. My favorite statues on the grounds are the Mormon Battalion Monument and the two Italian marble lions which sit at the east and west entrances of the Capitol building like guardians. If you're interested in history or architecture or just want a beautiful place to take pictures or ride an interesting elevator, then this is a must do when in Salt Lake City. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information. Or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to